Russ, you want to talk about how long you, you know, you and your family have been no-tilling and kind of how that's uh, how that's helped you, you know, build the, some of that resiliency into your system. Yeah. So Dad started. I think he started no-tilling soybeans in 1980, and then we went to full no-till corn and soybeans in 82. So he's been. Our, some of our ground has been no-tilled for 38 years. So when you were asking the other farmers here, what, what would you change, what would you... Honestly, I don't, I don't really have to change much because that our land has been in our no-till system for so long that I, I don't know what else I could do to make it better. We've had really good luck with what we're doing. So. Is there some economics that you that you've kind of tied back to to your soil health? Is there, you know, what are your what are your savings? Are you able to maybe reduce some inputs? Are you able to to prove some of this stuff? Right. So I mean, for me, I my biggest pieces of equipment are the planter, a sprayer, and a combine, and then that in the tractor to yep. pull the planter. But other, than, you know, I just have a. 20 foot disc and a 20 foot field cultivator so I don't have those extra costs for a big disc, big ripper, big field cultivator, big four wheel drive to cover all that right. stuff. 